maybe you tell us what Microbsy is all about, what you guys are doing, um, and give us a hint what this robot and this camera is for. Okay. So yeah, Microbs Industries is um, essentially teaching robots hand-eye coordination. You know, when people think robots, they think of C-3PO or Bender or, you know, stuff from science fiction. Um, and actual robots, you know, things like uh, this guy, um, aren't anything like that. This is just a bunch of motors and gears uh, in metal tubes. Um, and when you want it to move, um, essentially, you tell the six motors how to move. The, the idea in all of what we're doing is humans know best how to make these movements. It has a, when, you, when you want to create robot movements from camera images, you have, a, you have a range of options how to you know, find that relationship between pixels and movements you want to make. Yes. So the, the, the hard part uh, for robots today is dealing with any kind of variance or movement or flexibility um, in the real world. That's typically where uh, automation people today say, hands off, use a human, we can't do it. Um, and the role of AI or machine learning um, in this is we bring in the camera um, and uh, we bring in additional sens sensors. Sometimes the robots bring them, sometimes we bring them. Um, and we use those information, those additional information about what's going on in the world uh, for generating the, moment, the, the movement of the robot. That's something that hasn't been done before. Um, people are you know, fiddling with it in research for 15 years, but um, in production uh, as a product, it hasn't been done before. And that's the core innovation that happens in Microsoft. Awesome. <laughs> so you found a very specific niche. While your system has a certain generalizability, how did you come up with that niche? How did you find it? Um, so this is really a result of talking to the people who do automation today. So Germany is a very good place to do that because um, you know all around us, or especially in southern Germany, of course, uh, you have people who are like the best on the planet for doing automation. We're selling this stuff to the rest of the planet. Uh, so it's been fairly easy for us to just knock on some doors, uh, you know, go to, go to Audi, go to the robot manufacturers and ask them, okay, today, uh, when you want to automate something, um, where do you fail? Where, where doesn't it work? So right, we, we went to ABB and said, when you're not selling a robot today, why? What's, what's breaking it? Um, why, what, what's, what's blocking you? And then they just came up with a bunch of um, types of tasks that today robots should be able to do if they would be controlled uh, by cameras, um, but they aren't. Um, and then we said, okay, well, we can do that. We can tackle that. And that's sort of uh, where we went, right? Inserting cables isn't, um, I mean, it's, it's huge as a, as a market in itself, uh, but it's, it's, it's not what this company does. It just happens to be the first thing that with the very general machine that we've built, and uh, we, we get that uh, generality from machine learning. Um, it's just something that uh, we found easy to do uh, with that machine. You always stand on the shoulder of giants at the end of the day. What is the local ecosystem? What are the supporting factors that helped you at least a bit to get to the point where you are right now? Building things that build things is sort of what the German national economy does, right? I mean, we also make our own cars, but around that ecosystem, um, there, around, around the car OEMs, there's a whole ecosystem of people just know how to produce and automate at a very high level of quality. There's a reason Tesla is buying German automation companies uh, and they're looking for German technology for producing cars efficiently. They need to catch up, you know, 30 years of, uh, of automation know-how that they don't have in the US um, and that they're struggling to put together famously uh, right now. So for, for us, you know, when we started, we tried to do something where starting in Germany wouldn't be, um, so would be something in our favor. So where it would make sense to do this here, not in Silicon Valley. So we needed something that you know, it needed to be automation, right? We are, we're AI people, we wanted to do AI, we wanted to do AI and robotics. And then the question was, you know, do we something more consumer focused? And then why would you do that in Germany? Then you go to the US in Boston or, or, or the Silicon Valley. If you're in production, Germany is the best place to be. Ronnie, thank you very much for the conversation. It was a pleasure. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm.